inside and outside just lift your hands for the spirit of the living God is in this place tonight just bless him in the spirit because you are holy you are majestic great and awesome blessed be the name of the Lord and say, Lord, touch me tonight. Do something remarkable. Do something remarkable. Outside, wherever you are, the Holy Ghost is everywhere. Hallelujah. Isaiah 50 now. Spirit, thank you for your majestic presence. Lord, people have come from different states, different parts of this nation. There are many streaming on Facebook from different parts of the world. Father, your people have not come to see a man. Your people have come with real issues. Who but you, O oh Lord, is able to wipe the tears that are in our eyes? For by the arm of flesh, no man can prevail. And so, Holy Spirit, let no man be seen tonight. Do wonders in this place. Beat us beyond our imagination. Father, for the sake of Jesus, do miracles in this place. Let your kingdom come, O oh God. Let the power of the Holy Ghost be let loose in this place. Do awesome things. Give everyone a testimony everyone who is under the influence of this glorious presence i pray that no situation will defy will defy your power tonight move in dramatic ways oh god miracles oh god signs wonders breakthroughs by the power that is in the name of jesus lord tonight save sinners let Jesus be glorified in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Isaiah 59. Such a strong presence of the Holy Ghost in this place. Behold, verse 1. The Lord's hand is not shortened that he cannot save, neither his ears heavy that it cannot hear. I'll read it one more time. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. Our fathers told us, O oh Lord, that by your mighty right hand, you wrought miracles in their days. You altered the course of destinies by the power of the Holy Spirit. 
would you do it again tonight for your word has declared that your ears are ever open and that your hands are not short stretch it tonight in power and do wonders in the name of Jesus hallelujah please walk around and hug everyone you can find just tell them welcome God will do glorious things in your life those outside we are watching come on a big hug to everyone Give God a shout of praise. Let the devil know you came for a miracle service tonight. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. outside can you let those inside know you are alive and strong hallelujah praise God I'm excited in my spirit why a believer gets excited the bible says when the storm was boisterous paul said an angel of the lord has shown me that there shall be no loss an angel of the lord has appeared i tell you god showed me tonight's meeting is going to be awesome hallelujah can we sing just one song of praise hallelujah hands together yes Lord yes Lord you are the king there is no other yes Lord yes Lord come on rejoice yes Lord yes yes Lord yes Lord you are Worship us. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Those of you who are just coming, you listen to the word is. There's no there other. Is no other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let's have the glorious choir sing together. Come on. Yes,
God a shout of praise. Gloriously seated, come on. You're not excited for nothing. You're not excited for nothing. I'm telling you. Welcome, this is Koinonia. Let me tell you something. People will not just shout for nothing if God is not alive. Human beings are not so dumb. If God is not alive, they will not shout for nothing. be seated. Hallelujah. All right, help me instrumentalist. Praise the Lord. Jesus, I am thrown to you. I proclaim that you are And as we worship you, your your Hallelujah. Verse 2 of Isaiah 59. But your iniquities have separated you and your God and your sins have hidden his face from you that he will not hear hallelujah now very briefly I'll just encourage our hearts and then have you wondered why many people keep running unto God Lord help me sicknesses diseases all kinds of infirmities and it looks like in many cases God seems to be helpless hallelujah people come with their sicknesses and go back yet we read in this Bible that verily verily I say unto you he that believeth on me the works that I do he shall also do and greater works hallelujah the Bible says in Acts chapter 10 verse 38 he said how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power and he went about doing good and healing not some all day that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him in other words oppression comes from Satan correct he said he healed all that were oppressed of who the devil Bible says in John 10 verse 10 he said the thief cometh not but to steal to kill in other words you can look at a life and know whether Satan has passed through that life there is a footprint there are many families you can trace the works of Satan he comes when he comes and meets you he doesn't leave you the same he comes to steal to kill and to destroy Jesus said I am come I am come that ye may have life and have that life in abundance do you believe this hallelujah 
And here Isaiah is speaking by the Spirit. He's saying the Lord's hand is not short. Why does it look like God is unable to heal and to deliver? Why does it look like Satan is prevailing over families? All kinds of manifestations of darkness. And believers cry and we look so helpless. Oh God, come and save us. And we talk about all kinds of satanic manipulations in different families. People pray, they have vigils, they bring pastors and prophets and it looks like Satan is not scratched one bit. Has that happened to any family here? People take communion, they take anointing oil, they take all kinds of things. They pray 21 days fasting, 40 days fasting, the sickness remains. Yet the Bible says, the hand of the Lord is not too short that he cannot say. He said his ears are not so dumb that he cannot hear the prayers of the saints. Many of you coming here have cried. You've gone from pillar to post looking for solution. Can I tell you something, friends? Especially those of you who are in the ministry. Christianity is useless until it can present the love of Jesus to people in a practical and a personal way. Are you listening to me? A lot of people who say, miracles, is it really necessary? Just teach people the word. Now, the day you get into trouble, you will know the need for the power of God. Because some of you are just laughing but there are families that came right now is a matter of life and death hallelujah there are many people here with all kinds of sicknesses doctors have probably given you reports that you have a few days or a few weeks to live maybe hiv maybe cancer tumors growths all kinds of things barrenness and all kinds of people coming with every manifestation of curses and whatever delays you cannot account for hallelujah so when we're talking about miracles we're not just talking about healing in your body alone are you listening to me we're talking about miracles signs wonders breakthrough you know what breakthrough is breakthrough occurs when whatever is limiting you is taken away so that you are no more limited financial breakthroughs breakthrough in your life in your mind that you advance there are many of us you remain in circles no accomplishment no achievement there's nothing to show for it there are many families that are represented that way so i like your heart to be set tonight don't just come to spectate and watch others while I prayed for this meeting, I said, Lord, start with me tonight. That's what I told God. I said, Lord, as I dispense your power, and as we show how powerless Satan is tonight, listen, let me tell you something. God will demonstrate one more time that every sickness is a spirit. It has an ear, it has a name, and it can bow. It says, through the greatness of thy power, shall thy enemies submit themselves to you. They won't just bow. For there is a name. There is a name. We come in that name. And David stood before Goliath. He said, you come to me with your spears. But I come to you in the name of the Lord God. The captain of the host of Israel. The one who you have defied. Tonight, whatever has defied prayers, fasting, whatever. You will watch it bow right before your eyes. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Make sure that as you are standing tonight, you are also connecting with your family. He said, as for me and my house. That while you are here, the Bible says, when the centurion said, no, I am not worthy that you should come to my house, but speak the word only. The Bible says, as he declared, man, that result was happening in the house. And people ran back with testimonies that that very same hour. So the power of God knows no distance and no barrier. He stood from the tomb of Lazarus and shouted and that sound reverberated in hell. No distance. It picked one person and brought him back into this earth realm. 
I want you to know that you are not coming to the kind of God that many people in their religion have presented. As if God is just a little greater than Satan. No. I come to present to you an all-powerful God tonight. One who is limited by nothing. Hallelujah. Limited by nothing. He searched the heavens and the entire span of galaxy to find who was greater than him so that he would submit to and swear by. And he found no man. And the Bible says he chose to swear by himself. That by these two immutable things, it is impossible for God to lie. We have seen testimonies upon testimonies in this place. The hand of God changing blood groups from SS to AA. All kinds of bone conditions, cancers, tumors, HIV. For if it has a name, then it has a knee and it can bow. In the realm of the spirit, only the lesser bows to the greater. It's an aberration for the greater one to bow to the letter. And tonight we come with a name. Call cancer a name. Call HIV a name. Call breakthrough. What, whatever it is. All kinds of mental bondages that subject people into pain in life. Cause delays that you cannot experience. Tonight you will experience the liberty of the spirit. I like your heart to be open. Don't be a spectator. See, the Bible says they had the word just like we did. But the word did not profit them not being mixed with faith. When you hear the word like this, you say, Lord, this is me they are talking about. When it's time for your power to move, as you are healing people, I will clap for my neighbor. But let me rejoice. Because your hand is not too short. You are able to say let me tell you something friends if god cannot help you you are finished because no man can help you he said i will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help say my help comes from the lord the maker some of you are standing outside because there are no chairs let me tell you something make sure you don't waste your experience you're standing no one knows you in this crowd but i like you to press the woman with the issue of blood took initiative she said tonight i will break some rules if i may but touch the helm of his garment you may call me unclean but i will press whatever you want to say about me we will discuss when they saw jesus in the room the people found that they could not press they said look let's tear this zinc we will negotiate with the man after he gets healed there is a way you can be desperate for a miracle there is a way you can be tired of the state of your life and your family that dissatisfaction is the raw material you need for the miraculous for the bible says woe unto every man who is at ease in zion it takes a level of anger that you say like jacob lord people have been celebrating the same sickness that brought me here and let it change tonight tonight we are not coming to discuss with satan we are not coming to just comfort you psychologically we don't have time for that nonsense hallelujah that every window of opportunity that is destined for you i trust that tonight god will restore men let me tell you what restoration is listen listen restoration is not advancement restoration is god taking you through time he said i will restore the years canker worm can eat the years of a man's life so a man is moving forward but in the spirit you are you are far behind you are just advancing in age celebrating but there's no accomplishment so canker worms can eat years let me tell you something but god said i am able to restore the years that the canker worm has eaten so that in one day like samson he killed more people in one day than he did in his lifetime hallelujah i pray in the name of the lord jesus that dreams and visions tonight will arise there are many of you that the, the kind of gift and grace that god has bestowed upon your life for whatever reason you have allowed satan to lie to you but i pray and there are many of you just like saul saul left the son of kish 
went to look for his father's ass little did he know it was destiny calling him some of you are hundred level students you do not even know that god brought you here you thought you just came for a meeting you watch as destiny begins to unveil in the power of his presence for when he left he met samuel and samuel anointed him suddenly saul who left as an ordinary man stepped into a band of prophets and began to prophesy and men said is saul also one of the prophets there is a way god can alter the life of a man that your life becomes the epistle the message you don't need to talk your life begins to demonstrate it hallelujah so don't say you don't need a miracle tonight don't say you don't need a breakthrough Tonight we are going to be shouting in the realm of the spirit and we are going to be telling some doors and ancient gates to open up. The Bible says the children shall not suffer the iniquities of their fathers. Hallelujah. And for those of you who came from far, let me tell you something. That, that journey alone is a sign that God must change your story tonight. Go and read your bible everyone who came to jesus from afar was healed not one went back disappointed you don't know it's an act of faith to risk yourself on the road hallelujah it's an act of faith because you see god is everywhere but his manifested presence to heal and to deliver is not everywhere that's why oftentimes he will call men to a certain place where he will meet with them not everywhere hallelujah the bible says but your iniquity you know i began to pray and i was crying unto god i said lord why is it that in a great meeting like this only maybe few people receive testimonies of miracles and breakthrough and then the large congregation just gets excited maybe they fall down they stand up they're happy they cry and that's it do you know that god's prophetic instrument for publicity is the manifestation of the kingdom in the lives of people when god truly touches you you will be too grateful to keep quiet that's how the gospel was supposed to advance hallelujah and the lord showed me one thing he said son we spend time trying to pray against demons trying to pray against many things which has its place but did you know the lord shocked me not that i didn't know it but it came with a new light that the greatest hindrance to the flow of the power of god in a man's life is sin I know many of you have had it but right now when we come for meetings we concentrate on demons correct we concentrate on um unbelief and and different things which is wonderful but i need you to know that sin listen sin in a man's life is the greatest and surest doorway to short circuit the power of god now we trivialize these things that's why we don't see the authentic power of the spirit that's why just a few people are touched do you know my prayer every time i step in and i see people there are people outside to as far as your eyes can see i don't just brag and get excited and say see the crowd i'm saying lord how many of these people will genuinely go back with a testimony because it's not fair for people to leave their homes leave different places there are probably hundreds and thousands of people streaming and following us online and it would be so unfair for people to leave their homes and come only to rejoice for a few hours and go back i said lord it's not my life that will do that kind of ministry hallelujah the sin barrier there are lots of believers that don't deal with issues in their lives that empower satan and empower demons to find expression over the life of people 
every time God healed people, he would tell them, go and sin no more. Lest a greater sickness or a greater challenge come to you. We don't address the issue of sin. Because we feel, oh, we are the righteousness of God in Christ. Wonderful. And that's true. But let me tell you something. You empower Satan. A true life of holiness and righteousness and godliness is the greatest way of resisting the devil and commanding authentic supernatural power. Are you listening to me? We must be able to close the door. The Bible says through sin, death came. The word death near does not just mean cessation from living. It means anything that does not typify life through sin. Sin opened the door for sickness, opened the door for oppression, opened the door for every kind of satanic manipulation. Tonight, friends, I love you too much to lie to you. I won't deceive you. We will take a few minutes and truly address. And I said, Lord, all this sin, sin, you know, the whole thing, God told me that uh -uh, it's not just my mess is there but there are some sins the bible says the sin that easily besets us hebrews 12 verse 1 it says seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses it said let us lay aside every weight and the sin that means it's specific you know it the sin that easily besets us and then we will run with perseverance the race that is set before us are you listening to me there are many people who want to receive from god and i want you to get the best of god but let me tell you something if sin is at work in your life it will keep empowering demons because of the influence of god's power in this territory they may seem to leave you for a while but they will gather their kind and return back because if that sin issue is not addressed the bible calls it the sin that easily besets us hallelujah and the lord began to show me again hallelujah that scripture second chronicle 7 verse 14 popular scripture but many people do not see the life in it he said if my people so the first statement is they are my people correct if my people who are what called by my name but it does not mean they will be free automatically they are my people they are called by my name he said they shall do what humble themselves that's the first thing you need to do tonight whoever you are pride is one thing that kills people they feel they don't need a miracle they do not want to subject themselves to God's laws of receiving miracles. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and then do what? Turn. This is what the church does not want. We want to receive miracles and return back to our life. So don't talk to me about my life. Just heal me and let me go. Just pray for me. Let financial doors be opened. Let me just be a millionaire. Let me just be blessed. Let me build a house. Let my parents buy the car. Wonderful. Let me get the job. Let me be promoted. He said, but shall turn from what? Their wicked ways. There must be a turning. God says, I will be watching until you turn. The strength of forgiveness is if there is repentance. If there is no repentance, forgiveness does not have value. And turn from their wicked ways. He said, then will I hear from heaven. He said, and I will forgive their sins and do what? And heal their land. There are four major sins that the Bible puts and that God revealed to me while praying for this meeting that easily beset men. And we're going to consider them very quickly because I want us to just enjoy what God is going to do today number one number one is what the Bible calls immorality hallelujah immorality is not just sex are you listening to me so don't you see that there's a thank God I'm not part. just keep quiet and let me land immorality is not just sex hallelujah 
immorality a state of lust for anything that is not any the, the cravings of the flesh immorality a sin that doth easily beset a lot of people that's why they see that they cannot walk in perpetual miracles you can pray you can fast you can jump but i'm telling you if you do not address the issue of immorality in your life forget about walking in authentic power you may not like the message tonight but god brought you to listen hallelujah because what we men of god do is that as soon as members come we just come and we tell people oh receive take the power of god do this no 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 you must address the life of the people so that the miraculous will be a blessing to them say amen, amen. immorality we must be able to open up ourselves and flog out that issue and close doors listen did you know that the greatest expression of intimacy between a man and a woman is sex correct that's the same way when the spirit of immorality comes upon you it seeks partnership with your human spirit and will never allow you to walk in true righteousness and holiness I want you not only to be blessed tonight but to receive the authentic power of the Holy Spirit if you came here to hear the truth and to be blessed I'm telling you the truth the sin that don't easily beset us number two idolatry one great sin that easily besets people you know what idolatry is idolatry is not just building an image idolatry is putting your hope your trust and your confidence in any other thing above God any other thing my uncle my auntie my this my that the Bible says woe unto any man he that puts his strength in a man this is the reason why many people cannot receive from God every time God says I want to bless you your mind is going to one uncle and the truth is you think you are trusting God you only remember that your uncle say he will bless you so when the prophetic word is coming you are see you are already calculating who told you God needs your uncle to bless you are you listening to me idolatry And you take away every support and say lord you have made a way for men in the wilderness you have called strangers to bless people i take my eyes i've said it in life and in death i put my strength in no man aside from god whatever god cannot do for me let it not be done wherever god cannot take me i will not go are you listening to me you must challenge yourself idolatry many people put their whole strength in a man of God now I know the Bible says believe in the Lord and you shall be established you shall be established believe his prophet and you shall prosper you must also believe the vessel that God is going to use but not to come and begin to worship a man because you are looking for miracles are you listening to me there are lots of believers who are caught up in that kind of satanism. Yes, God uses vessels. God is using me right now to bless you. And shortly you'll be experiencing higher levels of his grace and anointing in this place. But I want you to know that your strength and your confidence. This is why it is always our desire to exalt Jesus Christ. We have no business trying to exalt a man joshua selman the king of kings and the lord of lords the one who is coming to perform miracles let me tell you something i have confidence and i believe god will use me to bless you it's not pride it's the truth
He has anointed us. Jesus said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. He didn't say the spirit of the Lord is in heaven. He said it's upon me. So there is a place of confidence. But not to bring you to a point where you must worship me. Because I am the absolute custodian of the power of the spirit. That's witchcraft. It's idolatry. Hallelujah. So for those of you who came here to see the great man, Joshua Selman, you've had me on tape. This is the man. Nothing much about me. Except for the fact that I'm available for him to use me. Are you listening to me? There is only one name that should be exalted. Jesus. Not God. Jesus. God can mean anything to people. A bottle of minerals. One stone somewhere in your village. But when you say Jesus, the Bible says he's the express image of the Father. Hallelujah. So every miracle that you will see in this place is the Lord walking through willing vessels to bring miracles for people. Hallelujah. That's why we rejoice and we are confident. We won't do that false humility to lie that we are not anointed. I'm anointed. It's an election by grace. It's not pride. It's the truth. The ministers are anointed. However, we will not forget the anointed is only an usher. Christ is the one we are leading men to. So if tonight's miracle does not direct people to Jesus Christ, we ended up creating a platform of witchcraft where we become the king of kings over the lives of people hallelujah number three very quickly unbelief unbelief the bible says in hebrews there's no time he said they did not enter their rest because of unbelief there 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 are certain christians who are so cynical listen to me and many of you need to be delivered from that spirit hallelujah you never believe anything that is god someone says ah i had a fractured leg it's just fixed now and you are just saying hey they should allow me to come and stand and check all these stories we are doing how are we sure that the person you see that cynical spirit is what the bible calls unbelief hallelujah so when people are opening themselves and receiving you're just standing there and wondering and saying wow interesting how are we sure this way how are we sure how are we sure that's just the language satanic and demonic hallelujah say i'm a believer tonight don't just watch others and say this thing let me look first if two people get healed that's when i'll be sure or my friend that i came with let's see now If you don't get blessed you can't come and beat us did we collect money from you we will enjoy the blessings of god and move whether or not you don't believe that god is at work look at the people inside and outside their joy unto god will trample your unbelief but i know there is a god who heals who delivers who can change the stories of men The fourth sin that easily besets men is what the Bible calls a lying tongue. A lying tongue. Book of Proverbs, the Bible says six things the Lord does hate. Seven, an abomination to him. The second in that list is a lying tongue. Let me tell you what a lying tongue is. A lying tongue is not just saying, ah, Reuben is wearing kaftan, where he's wearing suit. Are you listening to me? A lying tongue is that tongue that is not consistent with the truth of God's word. That's what the Bible calls a lying tongue. It's not just negating or saying things that did not happen. So if God says you are blessed and you refuse, you are a liar because God cannot lie. You get my point now? A 
a lying tongue. Many of us allow our tongues to profess and to speak things that are not consistent with the word of God. God says you are healed. You are there celebrating sickness. God says you are blessed. Hallelujah. And now we think it doesn't matter. But the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. It said, life and death are where? In the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. That means you will eventually eat the fruit of whatever you are sowing. I refuse to have a lying tongue. That's why I believe he will bless people tonight. I dare not say he will not bless. We are going to pray in the next five minutes. And say, Lord, whatever will not let me go back with a great miracle tonight, take it away from my life. No, 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 we don't bow our heads in this place. Stand up on your feet. We are going to pray. Now is not the time to sleep. Please rise up and pray. Inside and outside, in one minute, I'd like you to pray. Say, Lord, I know that your hands are not too short. I cried my life unto God. I said, Lord, tonight, as you bless men, do not forget me. As you change the stories of men, as you have always done, do not forget me. Go ahead and pray and say, Lord, my life is free from immorality. My life is free from a lying tongue. My life is free from idolatry. Tonight, my eyes are lifted up to you. Come on, pray. He's here tonight to bless us. Shata kapala tabada dadada. I have made you too small in my eyes, oh Lord, forgive me, and I have believed in the lie that you were unable to help. Who told you God cannot help you? But now. Oh Lord, I see my wrong. Fill my heart and show yourself strong. And in my heart, and in my heart, and with my soul. Oh Lord, be mine. Make sure you're singing it from your heart. Inside and outside. tell the Lord what you want him to do in your life tonight say it so that when it happens you will know he did it don't keep quiet say Lord change my story deliver my family tonight Hallelujah. 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 The devil is a liar. Are you listening to me? The Bible says 
the spirit of the Lord is upon me spirit of the Lord come and make your presence known we be the glory of the Ale Lord let the heavens be open I command the miracle angels the angels of deliverance across the land and breath of this building Everyone who is standing in this place, let him be under the influence of the power. Yeah. going to rebuke Satan and the works of darkness over people and families listen it's time for any devil that is standing your way and that of your family to go for the enemy has done this and God has so highly exalted him lift your hands as I rebuke the works of darkness as the power of God comes upon you let me help them in front thou devil of darkness it's time to go let God's people go 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 let the power of God fall fall I command demons powers of darkness for you cannot stand in the name that is above every other name go ushers bring them outside that devil let God's people go those outside lift your hands the power of God sets men free sets men free Set men free. Katalaka pato toto bakata. Ranta tabosa. You're going to shout Jesus once, and the power of God. Devils will leave. They must go tonight. They must go. Are you ready? Especially outside, the power of God will fall like rain. Shout Jesus. Let the angels, the angels of God are moving with a sword in this place. The angels of God are moving with a sword. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains be broken by the fire of the Holy Ghost. 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 No devil can stand. No devil can stand. No devil can stand. I tell you, no devil can stand. Pa 
Matakata balakata bakasubata. Mambrete ke pata lakata ba. Sete polakura. Outside, the angel of the Lord is moving with a sword. A mighty angel. A mighty angel. A mighty angel. Outside, a mighty angel. Mighty angel. Mighty angels. Mighty angels. I don't know why angels are moving outside, but the Lord shows me angels. Mighty angels. The northern army of the Lord's eye moving in power. Time of Satan, time of over the destinies of God's people. Outside, an angel of the Lord's presence. We magnify your name. We magnify your name. Like fire, I see a whole roll outside. Like fire, a whole roll outside. Like fire is falling like rain. Like fire. No devil can stand. No devil can stand. This is a place for emancipation. God's people will go free. And no devil, no power in hell will stand the fire power. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? He that has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity. At the back, this row, at the back, for you shall not stand over God's people. The fire of God upon one person at the back, you will not stand it. It comes like rain with power upon you. every devil over God's people those of you in front at the count of three I command every devil go go one two three out 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 by the fire of the Holy Ghost let them go free every delay every habit every spirit out of witchcraft every enchantment my sister be free now that devil let her go free by the fire power of the Holy Ghost let her go 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 be free that devil for the children shall not suffer the iniquity of the fathers Hallelujah. For you cannot stand the light of God. This lady has been tormented. Satan, out of her now. In the name of Jesus, be free.
the heavens are open God's power is touching everybody not just those in front come out of him come out of him come out of him by the power of the Holy Ghost she's free now in the name of the Lord Jesus now be free come out of her the fire of the Holy Ghost upon you that fire power upon you that fire power in the name of Jesus let it rain let it rain open the floor gates I see a woman I see a woman who came with a child a woman who came with a I'm seeing a small boy where is the woman inside or outside what's wrong with the child his body is hot his body is hot can you lose him can you hold him if you are deaf hear me inside and outside if you are deaf whether in one ear or both ears if you brought someone who is deaf put your hands in the ear that is not working it's time for deaf people to be healed now or even if you are hearing i see two people you you are hearing but it's not clear because it looks like there's water you literally feel like water is going to go now for one of you water will literally come out katapato kopaya Deaf ears, hear ye the word of the Lord. Ephata, be opened in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Deaf ears, make sure you check yourself. We'll take some testimonies. Bring this lady. Tonight is your night of deliverance. Tonight is your night of deliverance. Hallelujah. Please, I need someone with a mic. What is wrong with the child, madam? Just I came back from the work and I had the body of the baby is hot. And I leave him nothing nothing to You him. believe God will set this boy yes, free right I, now. Yes. Oh, there are miracles. Yes, Listen, God there are miracles happening. Now. Once you are under the influence of his presence, God is changing lives, opening doors. name of the Lord Jesus I set you free the power of God is going through his body that's what is making him uncomfortable in the name of Jesus be free now be free now I command your temperature to go down your son is free. Take. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Someone came. I don't know what it is that has to do with your leg. Is it pain in your joints or something around your leg? There's someone you came. You are not a regular worshiper here. Who is that person? The Lord is showing me someone like that with that case. Please, quickly, quickly, quickly. Once we call your case, we don't want to keep people so long here. Once we call your case, please run out quickly. Please. What's wrong with you? Anytime I 
walk, it always pains me. Anytime you walk, it always pains you. Where? How long has it been? Since when I was small. Bring a chair for me, please, quickly. What's wrong with you? It's paining you. How about you? Please bring three chairs quickly, quickly. Let's save time. Just turn it. No, 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 turn it. God is healing heart conditions now. God is healing heart conditions. Hold on. There's someone you have abnormal, what do they call it? Medical students, help me. Heartbeat, irregular heartbeat. Irregular heartbeat. You? Okay, come. But there's another lady I'm seeing. She's taller than you. Irregular heartbeat. Sometimes it beats you even have to use your mouth. It's a very serious condition. Who is that? Please come quickly. Lord, we release now. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit. What's wrong? Come, bring her. All right. Can I see your legs? Don't worry. I'm not saying she pull up. Just, just remove your shoes, can you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now please watch your screen inside and outside. Watch your screen. Can you see that if you are looking very well, can you see that one of these legs is shorter than the other? Can you see it please? Now watch what the power of God will do. Sister, look at me. Open your eyes. Don't miss your miracle. All right, tell us whether we are pretty. Are you seeing that one leg is shorter than the other? This is why the pain is coming. You will literally watch it grow right now. Are you ready? Watch it in the name that is above all names. Watch this grow. Are you seeing it in the name of the Lord? Look at look at look at what is happening to this leg in the name of the Lord Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Did you feel anything? with the mic what did you feel now try walking stamp it come get up and try to stamp it try to stamp it just stamp it try to you still feel pain you still feel pain it's no are you serious come on celebrate a miracle come come up here jump can you jump look at the name of jesus Hallelujah. Where's the other lady? While the ministers pray for you, this is a simple thing. I'm telling you, don't go around just pulling legs and disgrace yourself because that's what a lot of people do. You like this is not chambori. You disgrace yourself somewhere, someone injures you for nothing. Hallelujah. Praise God, sir. While they are praying so that we will save time, they'll pray for you. Hallelujah. This is what's wrong with you? A fracture on your leg. Which of them? How long? Like seven months. Yes, sir. You've been walking with this? Yes, sir. You can't walk except you use it. Yes, sir. Look at me. My brother, I bring you life right now. Amen. I, look at me. Look at me. In the name that is above all names, I command the fractured leg to go. Let it join right now. See, look at what is happening to him. Look at what is happening to him. This is the power of the Holy Ghost. This is the power of the Holy Ghost going through the leg. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at me, sir. Look at me. Can you walk? Look at me. Just start walking. Follow me. Look at this. Look at this. He came with crutches. Jump. Can you jump? Any pain? Fracture. A fractured leg. A fractured leg. A fractured leg. A fractured leg. Just got healed right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. A fractured leg. Hallelujah. If you're blind in one eye, what happened to you, sir? 
there was a friend who knows him who came here with him oh you know him he's a popular person is it true that he has been working with this crutch come on give jesus a shout of praise Yahweh, I think we should give God some praise. Yahweh, hey, Yahweh, hey, Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. Hold on, hold on. Another miracle here. Another miracle here. Let's have the mic. Pastor Jake just prayed for him. What happened to you, sir? Make sure you don't tell lies. So, hallelujah. Actually, I, I had an accident. Listen, okay. The leg was paining me. The leg was paining you. Exactly. So, okay. When the man was, uh, when Pastor Jake prayed for you, it became perfect. It, it became perfect. Come up, come up, come up. Do what you couldn't do before. Do what you couldn't do. Jump up. Look at this. Look at this. If your blood group is SS or AS, now is the time for it to change forever. Listen, I'm serious, I'm serious. Please make sure you believe, we are not joking here. Outside, I see that there is a mighty miracle that God will soon do outside. AS. Hallelujah. You can connect for any member of your family. Anyone in this place, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we command AS and SS to change now to AA in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I sense someone has been healed in the ear. Someone has been healed in the ear. Please check. You came here with ear problem. Someone has been healed in the ear. The Lord is showing me someone who has been healed in the ear. Hallelujah. Sorry? My uncle has been transferred Your uncle? Okay, hold on. Your uncle has twisted. How long? Three years. Okay. Just remove your shoe and let me make contact with it. What's wrong with you, sir? Oh, the irregular heartbeat. Watch it leave you now. The devil. Go by the power of the Holy Ghost. Check yourself. Breathe in and out. Test yourself. Could you do this before? Breathe in. Could you do this before? Look at this. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. You're free. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Please, ushers, hold him. Let me just make contact with your feet. Hallelujah. Or Bishop Stan, just pray with him. He will pray with you. Check yourself. You will be healed. Hallelujah. So we can concentrate. I, I used to have, I play hockey. I'm a sport. Okay, listen to this testimony. I play hockey. I'm a sportsman. And over the years, I've been having this muzu pool. Muzu pool, okay. Yes, but outside there, I was feeling something. Outside there, his legs started shaking. And right now, there's no. Right now, he's healed. Power of the Holy Ghost. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Pain in the right hand. There's someone I'm seeing pain here. Very severe pain. You even cry. Who is that person? It's time for you to rejoice. Pain. Severe pain is like a shock in your right hand. Who is that person? Pain. No, no, no. Check yourself, please. Check yourself and if act on it come on watch this could you do this before could you do this before watch a miracle happen could you do this before stamp it stamp it pastor stanley just prayed for him hallelujah the lord perfect you in the name of jesus christ how many of you are celebrating what god is doing in this place
the hand the lord is showing me someone severe pain in your right hand please when we call your case just run out quickly you are the one good evening thank you where is the pain in your right hand how long has it been it's up to five years up to five years what's wrong with it what happened can you turn it round up and down? Hold on. Can you do that before? Yes, no. But you, you feel pain. All right, watch what will happen to you right now. You believe that? <laughs> it is such fun to see, such fun to see. Hallelujah. Look at me. I come in a name that is above every other name. And we challenge this devil. It goes. Look at me. I want you to wind it as fast as you can. Go ahead, don't think about it. Look at this. Hallelujah. Look at me. Sister, what happened to you? Could you do this before? Could you do this before? In the name of Jesus, the Lord perfects you by the power of the Holy Ghost. What's wrong with her? What is this? Out of her now, in the name of Jesus. Accomplish what concerns me today. He is able. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That devil of darkness, be gone. In the name of Jesus. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, bring this lady. Just bring her. For God wants to use you and make a mighty woman of faith. I'm seeing that I don't know what it is that this lady matched, but she matched something that is demonic. That's what is happening to her. Jesus do this for your glory do this for your glory I set you free 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 in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free I declare you free right now Shalom your hands. Wow. God will give you a miracle now. I am the Lord that he led thee. I am the Lord your healer. I send power of the Holy Ghost. brought a sick person you are a guest please come and line up quickly you brought a sick person you brought a sick person please just pick up God is doing some you brought a sick person now is the time please come out let's save time you brought a sick person outside you brought an invited guest who is sick please come quickly bring them to the front wrong with you 
please technical help us Pain. Under my stomach, I also feel pain in my chest. Pain. I feel pain. You believe in Jesus Christ. Yes. You believe He will set you free. Listen, sweetheart. What you see here are not stage managed miracles. Are you listening to me? You believe that? Please, can I have a lady? Just lay your hands on her chest. Out of the washers. Is a demonic oppression, you will rise up totally. Fine, come, come, you're welcome. Come, what's wrong with you? Man? Schizophrenia. What schizophrenia? I meant that. Schizophrenia. We, I think we should employ some medical people who is studying. You're a serious medical student, or you are a doctor. Eh? No, we have doctors, sir. Please come quickly, quickly. Appreciate him. Please, quick, 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 quick. Please hurry up, sir, and help us. Hallelujah. So it's like madness, yes. like a psychosomatic condition. You'll be free right now. Look at me, my dear. By the power of the Holy Ghost, that devil of schizophrenia, go in the name of Jesus. Who, who brought her? What happens to her? Okay, okay, it's going to leave her. Are you listening to me? It's going to leave her forever. All right, she sees things that are not there. All right. And I'm seeing her waking up and shouting in the night. Yes. Is that true? Yes, in the night, people are sleeping. She just wakes up and starts shouting. Yes. That's what the Lord is showing me. The Lord set you free. Now, sister, look at me. It does not return to you again. And I also see the spirit of depression that has come upon you. The Lord sets you free. Look at me. Look at me. Run down there and run back. Run. I didn't say walk. Run. Run. Run like you're doing 100 meters relay. Do it one more time. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Now run back again. You are free in the name of Jesus Christ. Totally free. Totally free. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Sir, just please just spread yourself. Let's do that quickly. Just minister, we have to save time because everybody must be touched this night. Hallelujah. What's wrong with you, sister? There's this is a headache I've been having headache. over here now, yes. And it keeps making me present. Go! In the name of Jesus. Okay. I used to excrete blood. You used to excrete blood. It ends right now. Put your hands on your stomach. That devil of darkness. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I've been having this particular backache. For backache. Five. Lay your hands there. The power of God will hit you so hard. In the name of Jesus, we totally hope. In the name of Jesus, they pray for you. Hallelujah. That's all. All right, let's have all the sick people come and line up quickly. Sick people, quickly.
while you are standing there, I'd like you to be praying. Say, Lord, as these hands come upon me, an end comes to it. Don't go back with your sickness. Those in the congregation be connecting. Some of you will be receiving the healing anointing. In the name of Jesus. Go by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus.
soon be done. I like everyone inside and outside. If you know anybody in your family, listen, who is not feeling fine, or you brought the picture of anybody to connect or anything while we are praying, whether it's HIV or cancer, I like it to be connecting. Are you listening? The worshippers are they, they are worshiping. It's not just for the formality of it. They are creating an atmosphere. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? So I want you to connect. Are you listening to me? I want you to connect to what God is doing. Hallelujah. Please. Can you see? Touch this. 
Touch this. Come and touch it. Come and touch it. Come and touch it. Come and touch it. That devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus, the Lord perfect you. Give God a shout of praise. There is lightning and thunder, miracles and wonders, sound of many waters, heaven on earth. your family has experienced any kind of delay now is the time to let go any kind of delay no 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 no. hold on because of I know there are many people just go back to your seat but all of you who came out the five of you all of you come and hold your hands together all of you hold your hands together five of you but I'm going to pray for everybody look at me the power of God will touch you I sense a strong anointing are you listening to me? A strong anointing. Lord, let it move across right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Restoration for your family. Great restoration. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Now delay. Any kind of delay. No, no, no. Don't come out. Don't come out. Please, just stay where you are. Just lift your hands by faith because I see in the realm of the spirit two gates bring this lady ah I see a lot of demonic things come out of this family now in the name of Jesus every yoke of bondage Lift your hands, everybody. 
projects that are not completed by your family members that devil of delay is a spirit hear me the bible says and the hand of the lord came upon elijah and he ran and overtook the chariot at the count of three the power of god as he's hitting you is touching your family members one two three like red oh god like red oh god Every spirit of delay, go, 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 go. I command God to be open, break through in the name of the Spirit. Everyone under the sound of my voice, let the doors of destiny be open in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, if you are a student here, yeah, I'd like you to shout amen. amen. You will know why you are shouting amen now. Because the Bible says that when Daniel was tested with his colleagues, that there was a kind of spirit that was upon him. And he was ten times. Suddenly, his, his intelligent creation his, his capacity listen friends I told you that this is the year you will do fearful exploits in your academics listen and if you are in 100 level happy are you in the name of the Lord Jesus hold on leave her don't touch her in the name of the Lord Jesus, look at me, young lady. I'm not speaking to you, I'm speaking to the spirit. Let the power of God bring you forth. Let the power of God bring you forth. You will leave your seat and come forward by the influence of the spirit. Let it happen right now. The contention of light. All those affected will come out by themselves. Leave them. All those affected, they will come out. The Holy Ghost will take you from your seat and bring you here in front. You will come out by the Spirit. Stop that lady. Just stop her. Come. All of them. No, they can't stand. The Holy Ghost will bring you right in front by your by himself. He will pick you from your seat. No matter how far you are, he will direct you and bring you in front. Leave them. Leave them. They will come by themselves. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. He will bring them to the front. He will bring them to the front by himself. It's a sign and a wonder of the sovereignty of Jesus. Look, ushers, Leave that girl. She will come out by them by herself. If it's the Holy Ghost, He will bring her to the front. You will come out by the Holy Ghost to the front by yourself. It's the compelling power of the Holy Ghost and the castle in the spirit of power. There's one more person. There's one more person. You will come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. The influence of the Holy Ghost. Sister, you come out by the Holy Ghost. You run to the front now by the power of the Spirit. Come out 
God will do a thorough work. Listen, I'm telling you, many of you will go back and see doors opening left and right. I prophesy it into your life. I prophesy it into your life. I prophesy it into your life. Sister, come out of her now in the name of Jesus. Be free. Supernatural exploits. I set you free now, sister. I set you free because she's speaking a language in the realm of the spirit, and I hear what she's saying. The Lord is setting your family free in the name that is above all names. For after the count of five, victory will be established. That's what the Lord tells me. One, two, three, four, five. Please call this sister for me. Come, my dear. God is not only going to set you free tonight, but God has begun a walk in your family. This is Kemi sister, right? You will go back and see the dramatic things. The Lord is even restoring. I see financial restoration. Mighty financial restoration. There is a property your father wants to sell. Tell him not to sell it. There is a blessing coming just go and tell him are you listening to me and for you look at me this is an evil spirit now be free now now this is an evil spirit look at me I want to pray for you are you listening to me your family, can we come? Both of you stand. God is bringing a major, major restoration to your family. You believe that? Look at me. I don't know what it is, but the Lord is saying I should tell you that the Lord can bless you anywhere in Nigeria, in UK. Or Canada, God just says I should tell you. Are you listening to me? Hold my hands, Lord. Let this lady step into a new level of favor. Now, Kemi, for you, look at me. Is a restorative breakthrough God is bringing. What you are entering now, you would have, you are supposed to have entered it since, but the Lord is restoring to you in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power and the influence of the spirit. Where's your friend? Where's your friend? The guy that came. Come. Look at me. There are three breakthroughs God is giving you. Do you understand? One, I will not talk about it. But you know what I'm talking about. The second is in the area of your business. And that restoration is going to come through wisdom. And knowledge. Are you listening to me? Wisdom and knowledge. But look at me. God wants your heart like never before. Do you understand? Business books can only do so much. Are you listening to me? God must take your heart before he blesses your hand. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? I want to pray for you. Hold my hands. Give him an impartation, oh God. 
let him know he met the king of kings strong impartation in the name of Jesus I command freedom for you I command breakthrough for you by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of the Lord Jesus come you came from a university campus not Zaria where are you you came from a university camp not Ebi Uzaria. I'm seeing someone from a campus, not ABU. Who is that person? Please, please come, my brother. Come quickly, come and stand here. My brother, look at me. God is going to cause a hunger for him in your heart like never before. This is not the kind of prayer you expected me to pray for you. But you don't worry. Is that true? To prophesy to my life because I've been experiencing so many. It's technical help us. So I, I, I'll be looking for God's direction in my ministry. Basically, my whole life. Look is at me, my brother. You are you just started ministry or something like that? Okay, you are going into ministry. Yes, sir. You leave ministry and pursue God. You are not equipped. You will die for nothing. Are you listening to me? Yes, you just calm down. You need God. You need to experience the power of God. Yes, eh? yes, so that you don't jump into the error that people are having. However, yes, because you came here, yes, God will ignite a fire in you. Amen. It will first start with the spirit of prayer. Amen. It will fall on you. You will pray like a madman. Amen. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. And from there, God will begin to give you direction. Amen. You believe that? Yes, sir. Hold my hands as tight as you can. <laughs> look at me. Just look at me. Lord, as you have shown me, ignite him with a fire. Fire upon you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you will never be the same. Never be the same. The spirit of prayer, let it fall on you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where is the gentleman? Come. From where? Foot Mina. Mina again. How many of you know that God is doing something in me now? Hold my hands, my brother. You came, you will catch a fire. Look at me, look at me. You came with, an hung, with a hunger. God will not leave you. Just lift one hand up. You will feel literal fire coming upon this hand. And it will flow through every part of your body. Lord, let it be done as you are showing me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The name of the Lord Jesus. That strong fire upon you. It flows from your hand from your hand to every part of your body and look at me there is the spirit of leadership upon you you are going back with a strong spirit of leadership are you listening to me i'm hearing the name rebecca sorry we're out of time we'll round up now rebecca rebecca who is rebecca rebecca student? No. Where are you? I'm in secondary school. You are in secondary school? Yes, sir. Will you be available if God uses you yes, sir. to bring a great revival in your school? Yes, sir. What school is that? Jama Secondary School. Jama Secondary School. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Say after me, Jesus, I'm available like Catherine Kuhlman. Let your fire come upon me. Now look at me. Look at, look at the answer to the prayer. You will never be the same again. It's a mighty impartation. You are the same name. Come. You are a student of where? Maybe you. Yes. What department? English language. You believe God can do great things through you? Huh? Yes, sir. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Use me. Use me. Anoint me. Anoint me. All right, now you have the answer to your prayer. In the name of Jesus, ignite her. See, it's like fire in your tummy. It's that of the spirit. You will never recover from it. Never. Never. In the name of Jesus. Foot me now. Okay, why did you delay? We have to hurry up. Please, 
did you bring your prayer request all right quickly quickly your prayer request outside make sure your prayer request if you're outside please write it quickly and pass it just stay where you are to set free to win souls for the kingdom this and more may the Lord release upon you uh, but you need to dedicate time for God uh, you don't pray you don't spend so much time in the word there's no other way to grow hmm? does it make sense to you what I'm saying but you came because you trust God Put a fire in you. Hold my hands, please. Lord, please put a fire in him. In the name of Jesus, that you will never be the same again. In Jesus' name. Your prayer requests, please quickly pass them. Just pass it to the last person. We have to be out of here. Just wait because I need to prophesy to the life of everyone. So do that quickly. Outside, even if you are just coming, wherever you are, please get a paper. Help one another with papers, please. Hallelujah. Please, quick, 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 quick. You should have written this before now, but write it quickly. Please. Because Pastor Jax is going to speak and prophesy the fire of evangelism. Are you listening to me? And Bishop is going to come and pray and prophesy and release the spirit of prayer. These two things. Are you listening to me? We have to do that quickly. The Lord is showing me doors that are opening. This is what I'm seeing. See, I'm seeing this thing again and again. Doors. 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 Many of you don't know the value of an open door. close to Jessica come yes you come my dear you standing you believe God can use you in a mighty way you want him to use you lift your hands where you are Lord release an anointing upon her that will cause her to be mightily used the Lord is showing me visions I see two eyes being put upon you two eyes being put upon you lord i pray that she'll begin to see great and mighty things beginning from today in the name of jesus my dear god wants you you believe that and he wants you this is not the issue of just run away from all these men that want to run around you they don't even know where they are going focus on jesus christ are you listening to me you need him first ladies what you need first in your life is not a man is Jesus if you know how to love and relate with Jesus a man will become an asset to your life are you listening to me hold on we'll soon pray that prayer that special prayer to send away some people out of your life and bring the people God has destined do you like that kind of prayer but you must be willing and obedient sister look at me you want me to pray that God will anoint you you want to pray Good friends, an association of people who love God. Love is compulsory, but relationship is not. Are you listening to me? You mustn't relate with everybody. You have a very tender heart. Let them not take you for granted. Hold my hands. Jesus, please do something in her life, I pray. Please give her an anointing in the name of Jesus. Bless her. Use her for your glory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Steve Strings, please can you come up and sing There is none like you, your guitar.
Hallelujah. While you bring the prayer request, Steve Strings will sing, There is none like you. I just sense that that's what we need. Do we have the prayer request? Please, quickly. Quickly. If, let's, let's have it, please. Pour it here quickly, quickly. All right, there's this. If you've not written, just write. We'll give you one minute quickly. This is not a ritual. God answers prayers. I'm telling you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search to all eternity, Lord, and find there is none like you. There's none like Jesus. There is none like you. There is none like you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, listen. I've been waiting for the Holy Ghost to signify it. Please, everybody, stand up. Jesus is calling many people tonight. Listen to me. Many of you have heard me preach. You've seen the miracles. There are many of you standing outside. And the Lord is speaking to you. Hallelujah. The Bible says, come unto me. All ye that are weary and heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Hallelujah. For many of you, you have been running away from God. Or you have been born again, but it's one leg inside. One leg outside. No one condemns you, but Jesus is calling you today. You came with your friend, but I like you. Don't let someone sitting by your left and right make you not to make this decision for Jesus Christ. You need Jesus Christ. He said, I am the way. There are many ways. He said, I am the truth. Hallelujah. I'm going to count one to ten. I'd like you to leave your seat and run out. At that count of, don't be ashamed. The Lord is talking to you. Many of you from the time I began to preach, you have come to the end of the road. As I count, as I begin to count one to ten, I'd like you to run and come out. One, two, leave your seat and run inside and outside. Three, four, run out. Don't be ashamed of anybody. Five, outside, God is calling you. Jesus is calling you. Run out and come. No Ushers, help them. Ushers, help them. Like Sing. The Leave your seat. Forget Jesus. about your friend. No other name. Forget no about other whoever you came with. Like the name. We are waiting for you. Seven. No the name. No other name. Come like to Jesus. Name. Run to Jesus. Don't let your brother make you sit back there. There is a better life. There is a higher life. There is a greater life in Christ Jesus. Better than what you have experienced. In eternity and in this world. No one name. Jesus is still calling. Jesus is still calling. No other name. Eight. We have two more counts. Outside. Jesus is still speaking to a few people. Don't be ashamed of anyone. Leave your friend. Leave your relatives. Go on and come here. He's worthy of Nine. We are waiting for the last person. We are waiting for the last person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's all of you in front. Just pray this prayer with me, okay? Just say, Dear Lord Jesus, I come before you today, calling out to you. Please help me. Forgive me for my sins. Make me a new creature. Uh -huh. Wash me with your blood. Make me clean. I receive salvation in the name of Jesus. From today, I receive power to live a holy life in the name of Jesus. And 
Father, I pray for your people in the name of Jesus. Blessed Holy Spirit, you see their hearts. I ask that God, you uphold them with the power of your word. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that Lord, everything that has pulled them thus far, Lord, has pulled them far from you. Everything that held them back. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray that Lord, you break them away from it in the name of Jesus. Give them strength to walk with you. You are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ and you are forgiven by the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please put your, hold on, just put your hands together for them. We welcome you to the greatest, biggest, most victorious family. Not Koinonia, the kingdom of heaven. God's own kingdom. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Jesus brought all of you here. I want you to begin a great and practical work. Are you listening to me? Please. We love you. I want your salvation to be genuine. Don't just make it emotional and then go back. Uh -uh. Are you listening to me? A Christian's life must be backed up by a radical shift. You must leave the things you used to do. There's power. You must break away from ungodly associations. There must be a practical step. That's why the power is upon you. Hallelujah. Now, you do this for me very quick. Very quickly. The ushers are going to have your details. Are you listening to me? Tomorrow, you're going to have a special session with Pastor Jakes. He's going to talk to you. He's going to follow you up. And then we'll get all of you filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And then you begin. Every time we get people born again, the moment we follow you up with some foundational teachings, once you get filled with the Holy Spirit, you march straight to prayer band for one month. Hallelujah. You pray for one month. After that time, you'll be strong enough. We want our fruits to abide. Hallelujah. I bless you with the blessings of the Lord. Whatever has held you down, it leaves you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let this be a new life for you. Please get up and follow the ushers. Please celebrate this harvest. Just follow the ushers. Don't worry, you will come back. Follow the ushers quickly. Hallelujah. Now, very quickly, please look up. We, are, we don't have time. Pastor Jakes is going to speak just in a few seconds and release upon us the spirit of soul winning. Are you listening to me? Everyone must become a soul winner. Hallelujah. Sir. Hallelujah. Because God is going to be giving some of us a new heart. It starts with your heart, a compassionate heart. If you are willing and ready for this, the Lord will visit you with it. Some of you will literally feel like fire on your feet. That's what I'm sensing right now. A fire will come upon some of you, your feet. Thank you, blessed Lord. Lamb of God, we worship you. Lamb of God, we worship you. Lamb of God, we worship you. Please lift up your hands as you pray. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands as we pray. Blessed Father, Abba Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. I ask that God, you release from heaven. You release a fire from heaven, Lord. You release a fire upon your people from heaven. I ask in the name of Jesus, let there be a visitation. Let the presence of God come upon you. Let the fire of God come upon you. A passion for souls in the name of Jesus let fresh fire let fresh fire be released upon your heart your heart begins to burn for souls and pants for it you will not find rest you will not find rest in the name of Jesus your tongue the fire of God comes upon your tongue in the name of Jesus Christ the fire of God comes upon your feet the Holy Spirit will lead you to, to speak the word 
to speak the gospel, the angels of salvation. Lord, we pray they be released in the name of Jesus. The four corners of this place, let them be released. Let the oil and the mantle of evangelism be released. We pray, Lord, I pray that you grant your people vision for souls, the hunger for souls, for souls. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Aprendo si va, rieto mi anta, in tus limante, risuminta, mi orte, itapila. Dominante e crucifrasse, rista mitra, sumelete e troppa sua la tana. E camando sa perfonsha pasiba. Lord, I pray that God is far will burn continually, we pray. To burn continually, Lord. We pray in their hearts. Our hearts will be on fire. Hallelujah. That's the spirit of evangelism. That's the spirit of evangelism. Now Bishop is going to pray. I pray this will fall strong on people. The spirit of prayer. Many of you need to pray. Many of you need to pray. Many of you need to pray. Lord, the spirit of grace and supplication rest in the house in the name of Jesus, let the fire of the Holy Spirit and the world of the Lord rest upon your heart. Let your heart will yearn for His presence. Let the Lord be faithful for your family. Well, let we come to the top and set your presence to the door. Well, let we come. Any prayer request here, I'd like you to know it will be answered. Lord, we pray. Stretch your hands and say, Lord, go ahead and let's pray. Lord, do mighty things, solve problems, bring impossible miracles. In the name of the Lord Jesus, as we make contact with these requests. In the name of the Lord Jesus, prophetically, wipe the tears of many 
in the name of the Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Father we pray every prayer point here let it be met in the name of Jesus Lord release supernatural miracles for the sake of your glory in the name of Jesus Christ now lift your hands I want to prophesy this is the final thing on Ugo. please if you came here now is the time for you to receive something please don't go back the same hallelujah listen see the apostolic anointing is not just talk are you listening to me the apostolic anointing is an office are you are you listening to me it's an office it's not just apostle this no 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 it's an office no man works the bible says he gave unto some apostles it's a position of authority are you listening to me it's an office that is recognized in the spirit it's an elect it's not an issue of prayer and fasting it's an office god gives us this office to open up doors for others it's an election by grace and if you believe it tonight you will step into a level of blessing lift your hands lord if i be a servant of god truly called into this apostolic office my god confirm this anointing upon me once again i invoke the anointing that was given upon me when jesus appeared to me my god and my king let there be a performance doors be open doors be open doors be open doors be open i challenge thrones i challenge dominions i challenge offices i stand in the anointing of this office i compel every closed door over your life over your academics delaying marriage i release you i call your partner to come to you in the name of jesus i pray i pray that the favor of god for he has granted unto me by grace my god and my king i see it like water flowing from the ground let the favor of god sweep let it sweep across this congregation outside i prophesy favor i prophesy favor i prophesy favor if you can hear my voice receive favor receive favor in your academic favor in your finances favor in your relationship favor in the name of jesus hallelujah i want to prophesy speed upon your life and that of your family members in the name of jesus before the next miracle service i prophesy run with the spirit of elijah supernatural accomplishment exploit by the power of the holy ghost exploit 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 hallelujah i pray for every project whether in your life or your family building project capital project businesses in the name of jesus god of heaven the one who is at work in this place i invoke by the power of the holy ghost let there be grace for completion receive it receive it outside receive it outside receive it i pray for your academics in the name that is above all names i want to release it upon you and if you will believe i release five points in the name of jesus i release it 
release it. I release first class in the name of the Lord Jesus. Supernatural intelligence. Every dull mind, I command you be productive, be intelligent. Every cause you cannot understand, go back and challenge it now. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I pray against habit, masturbation, pornography, whatever it is. If it's a habit that is not of God, this moment you have prayed, you have fasted, you have done everything you know to do. But I come under the anointing in this office. I command, be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray all those who are trusting God for life partners and for marriage. Listen, please, if you are not trusting God, you better put your hand. We are not playing here. We are very, very serious. If you are trusting God, for I don't mean people coming around. First and foremost, any guy roaming around your life just to mess up your life, I pray that tonight, God will open your eyes in the name of Jesus may God expose destiny destroyers this night may God connect you with the will of God for your life I command supernatural marriages for you and your loved ones in the name of Jesus I command any kind of terminal disease and I see this, the Lord is showing me ladies, many diseases, infection, whatever it is. I cause it now to its root in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray for your finances. My God and my King, if your word is true, between now and the next miracle service, if it is the God of heaven we serve, you will receive a call if it is a god if it is god that we serve may you receive a call that will shock you i prophesy it i program your spirit to receive it in the name of jesus i hear a call is a call is a call that's what god told me it's a supernatural call receive it in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah many of you who have been confused about your life especially men receive grace to sit down and be established in the name of jesus no more confusion the reason why you were born listen to me the reason why you were born between now and the next two weeks everyone here who does not know you are just roaming around the surface of the earth escorting men if God be God, may the reason why you were born be revealed to you in dreams, in visions, by prophetic encounters, by the revelation of the word. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Finally, I pray for you. Lift your hands. There are certain anointings that God has put upon this house. Are you listening to me? Number one, the presence of God. I don't idolize this but it's true number two the favor of God the wisdom of God financial prosperity are you listening to me and such as we have my God and my King may it be released upon you now favor wisdom the presence of God the power of God the miraculous I activate the gift of the Spirit now all across the building the gift of the spirit receive it gift of healing faith prophecy tongues interpretation of tongues i activate your spirit man visions visions i call for fivefold ministry fivefold offices let the apostolic arise let the prophetic arise let the evangelistic arise let the pastoral arise. Let teaching graces arise. Ba ta 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 ta. Ba 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 ba. 
Bokotopothia. Upon ladies, strange order of the prophetic. Strange order of the prophetic. Strange order. Strange order. Grace to see. Grace to hear. Grace to move in power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're rounding up. Please listen to me. In closing, all of you hear me inside and outside. Please listen. We're training people to be men and women of character. Are you listening to me? Not just anointing. It's not enough to have power. Those who are students, you must have character. This is the year you will demonstrate the character of the spirit. Be disciplined. Be dedicated. You can't be flying around. Every party cannot be it. Hallelujah. Your Christianity must bear fruit and everyone must witness it. Hallelujah. So as you leave this place, go and call all those people that cause you to walk in unrighteousness and let them know you have begun a new walk with God. I'm telling you, do it. Go and delete every ungodly song in your phone. Break all those CDs and kick it out of your house. You are either a Christian or you are not. Hallelujah. You are either a Christian or you are not. Say I'm a man or a woman of character. Yes. The character of the spirit must be at work in your life. Your conversation. You cannot be speaking as if you are not born again. And then when you come to church, you say, Hallelujah. No, you must speak like a Christian. Are you listening to me? Say amen. amen. Inside and outside, say amen. amen. You must speak like a Christian. Hallelujah. You must act like a Christian. Act like Jesus is Lord of your life. Anything cannot be it. Be disciplined. You are a leader. And be humble. Say, I receive grace for humility. If you are an arrogant person in this place, I set you free from that spirit of arrogance. Be humble. Listen. Make sure by love you serve people. Are you listening to me? The greater one in the kingdom. Gone are the days of all these men of God. Ah, protocol for me. Uh -uh. The greater one is the one who can kneel down and serve. Are you listening to me? Take away that wrong mindset of ministry that has been given to people. Oh, you are the woman of God. You are the man of God. Bend down. Let your work speak for you. Let to wash the feet of others. Consider others better than yourself. Are you listening to me? Say I'm a Christian. If you are coming here for the first time, let me prophesy into your life. Please leave your seat and come out inside and outside. Appreciate them very quickly. Please come out here quickly. Come out here quickly. Please clap for them. They are coming. Ushers, lead them to come to the front. You are welcome. Give them a koinonia welcome. We'll soon be out of this place now. Hallelujah. Quickly, quickly. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, koinonia. Will you appreciate them? Hallelujah. 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 Please keep coming. We'll pray for you. I want to thank every one of you for coming. This is Koinonia. Hallelujah. Especially for many of you who came all the way. Thank you so much for coming. We appreciate you. We receive you. Hallelujah. We are happy. We are proud of you. We want to pray for you. That this will be the beginning of unusual hunger for God. That this will be the beginning of passion for the things of the spirit and that this will be the beginning of an unlimited life of breakthrough in the name of jesus saints of god stretch your hands towards them as we pray we are praying for you may the lord bless you we pray that god will make you better than you are in the name of jesus for those of you who have been healed and touched i pray that Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.